Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at the voltage doubler using LEDs as rectifiers. This digital and analog discovery will be used both as waveform generator and oscilloscope. Before we continue, we should note that this discovery has differential inputs, which allows us to view the voltage on each capacitor as well as the waveform generator without concerning ourselves with grounds. The circuit itself is fairly simple. The waveform generator has an input on the yellow and black wires. There's a 100 ohm current limiting resistor to slow everything down so we can actually see the charging of the capacitors. The two LEDs serve as the rectifiers, two capacitors, and finally there's a 1K load here. Let's take a look at the actual schematic. Here's the schematic for that voltage doubler. The analog discovery generator is here. This is a 100 ohm resistor, a 1000 ohm load. D1 and D2 are LEDs. And C1 and C2 are 3300 microfarad capacitors. As far as measurements are concerned, we recognize that that digital and analog discovery has fully differential inputs, which means we can connect anywhere we want in the circuit without worrying about grounds. For example, this is our orange input, which we'll call channel one. We can measure the voltage directly on this upper capacitor. We'll put that in teal. We can measure the voltage on the lower capacitor. Let that be green. And we can also measure the voltage across the entire system. And we'll do that in red. That's the upper capacitor the lower, and total output, with the understanding that the total is equal to the summation of upper and lower. We recognize that the upper capacitor will only charge when D1 is forward biased, which implies a loop like so. Likewise, the lower capacitor will only charge when D2 is forward biased, which means our loop is now like this. With this display, we can see the circuit in operation. We're feeding it a one hertz signal. One LED will turn on on the positive half cycle and the other on the negative. Let's slow it down so we can see which is which. Here's a positive half cycle, the upper LED is on, and here's a negative, the lower LED is on. The digital analog discovery is a two channel oscilloscope. We can add more channels by using the reference function. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go over here, add channels. We're gonna add channel two as a reference. For some consistency with our schematic, we're gonna change that to red. Let's move this probe so we can see the voltage across the lower capacitor. Single sweep the oscilloscope. And now we have this waveform, which shows the voltage on the lower capacitor. Add channel, channel two, rename this reference as lower capacitor with a green color. Let's move this probe so we measure the voltage on the upper capacitor. Again, these are differential. So one of these is blue and the other is the white with blue stripe. Actually, let me reverse them so our polarity is correct. So we want to look at the voltage across the capacitor. Channel two on, single sweep, add channel, channel two, give it a name, so upper cap, and we'll change it to teal. At this point, we have four waveforms. Our input is orange. Our output is red, and then we have the two capacitors. We have the lower one, which is in green, and the upper, which is in teal, such that the output in red is the summation of these two capacitors. Our input is orange, our output is red, 
And then we have the two capacitors. We have the lower one, which is in green, and the upper, which is in teal. Let's take a closer look at these waveforms. So we turn everything off except the lower capacitor. That lower capacitor is seen to be a halfway rectifier that charges only on the negative half cycles. Here's the upper capacitor. Again, it's halfway rectified, but it only charges on the positive half cycle. When we combine the upper capacitor and the lower capacitor, we get the output, which appears to be full wave rectified, but in reality, it's the summation of two half wave rectifiers that are offset from each other by 180 degrees. We recognize that the output is at 2 Hz, whereas our input is at 1 Hz. One final thought before we depart. Notice that I've moved the probes so that we're now looking at the output of the voltage doubler. We notice that there's a fair amount of ripple voltage, approximately half a volt in this case. Watch what happens when we double the frequency. We can see that the LEDs are blinking faster and the ripple voltage has been cut by approximately two. Here we are at 20. We can see that the ripple is almost gone. And finally, if we go up to say 100 Hertz, it almost looks like pure DC. Let's try to zoom in to see if we can see that waveform a little bit better. In this case, we've moved our DC offset and we've zoomed in, so now it's 10 millivolts per division. And we can see that what was half a volt at one hertz is now about 10 millivolts at 100 hertz.